Aleluya.
the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. As once again we come before you, Father God, as humble as we know how. Yes, sir. Father God, we thank you right now, Lord God, for our early rising on this morning, Lord God. Giving us another opportunity, Lord God, to get our life in order in the name yes, of Jesus Christ. We thank you right now, Father God, for allowing us, Lord God, to have a way of escape out of the hand of the enemy, Lord God. Yes, sir. Allowing us to be in the household of faith one more time. Father God, we thank you right now, Lord God, for every visitor that made their way out to be a part of the service on this morning, yes, Lord sir. God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that thou will stretch forth that mighty and powerful hand. Touch them for today, Lord God. Let them send, send down a special blessing upon them, Lord God, while they're here. Send your word from heaven, Lord God, because your word shall abide forever in the name of Jesus Christ. If we're ever going to make it in these last and evil days, Lord God, we need your word. We need your spirit abiding on the inside. Yes, right. Father God, we pray in us right now, Lord God, you touch the heart of somebody on today, Lord God. Let them come run and ask them, what must I do to be saved in the name of Jesus Christ? Yes, sir. Father God, we pray in us right now, Lord God. Let them take on your name by water baptism and turn to our sight till they be endowed with power from on high in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray in us right now. You bless those, Lord God, who are watching us live today, Lord God, over the airway, Lord, that you'll step right in their living room, Lord God, and touch their heart in the name of Jesus name Christ. Of Jesus. Father God, we pray that will bless the choir that's going to sing, yes, bless the musicians who are going to play. Most of all, Father God, we pray that will bless that manservant who's going to minister and preach your word on today. Yes, sir. Send the anointing down Send upon him, Lord God. Take him higher, Lord God, yes, in the name of Jesus. Name Father of God, Jesus. make his face a splint, Lord God. Let him stand yes. flat-footed, Lord God, and declare the whole counsel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Father God, if you do these things for us, we shall be so very careful to give your name and praise. These are all blessings we ask in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the name's sake we do pray. Let every heart say amen. Amen. Amen, amen. amen again. I got the word. I got, I got the word. word. 27 Division of Song, and it reads The Lord is my light well. and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Mm -hmm. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Mm -hmm. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should 
rise against me, and this will I be confident. One thing I have a desire of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God, of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not, deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses have risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Thank God for this 27 songs of David. Give God a praise, everybody. Thank God for reading of his word. Thank God for the word of God. The reading of the word. Hallelujah. Jesus. Come on, give God a praise in here. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, praise him this morning. We love him today. Thank you, Jesus. Another song. Another song in the chorus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. How many glad they got Jesus today? Are you glad you got it? Oh, yeah. Are you glad you're standing on the Lord's side? If you got Jesus, you're more than a conqueror. I got Jesus. 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 I got
Jesus. Said if you got Jesus, I got Jesus. You got a mighty good doctor. Hey, I got Jesus. Said if you got Jesus, I got Jesus. You got a mighty good friend. I got Jesus. Said if you got Jesus, I got Jesus. You wanna clap your hands? I got Jesus. Said if you got Jesus, I got Jesus. You wanna pat your feet? Jesus, 
you ought not be ashamed. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You ought to be glad about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glad I got it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look where I am today. Look where you are today. You ought to tell your neighbor, look where I am today. Because I got Jesus on the inside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Truly did we thank the male chorus for that song. At this time, we're going to step back and we are Sister Lane and she would come. And give our announcement and our welcome at this time. Hallelujah. 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 Continue to praise him throughout the service. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Glory. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I've got Jesus down in my heart. Yeah, yeah, Giving yeah. honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to our pastor, Bishop Terry Jackson, God, our yes. first lady, Sister Paula Jackson. Amen. Mother Harris, deacons, missionaries, saints, friends, visitors, everyone tuning in to our various platforms, and my husband. Welcome to True Vine Apostolic Church of Christ. We are located at 925 Old Buckra Road in the city of Hampton, Virginia. At this time, we would like to welcome our visitors. We have Miss Julie Brisbane, and she's a co-worker of our pastor, Deacon Jordan and Deacon Jackson. Welcome. Thank you for joining us on this morning. We also have Mr. James Bowser, and he was invited by Sister Richardson. Thank you for joining us in this morning, Amen. sir. He's in the back. Yes, sir. We also have Mrs. Joy Chapman and her daughter Nancy. She's the aunt of our sister Lucas. Thank you for joining us right. today. God bless you. We have Mr. John Archer, and he was invited by our Trevon. Jackson, thank you for joining us on today, sir. We also have returning visitor Powell family. They are also family. Thank you for joining us on today. And we also have Miss Javelle Lee and her family. Thank you for joining us on today. God bless you. February birthdays. All those who were born in the month of February, please stand. <laughs> We would like to wish you a happy birthday in advance. Yeah. <laughs> Brother Trevon Jackson will be meeting with all the brothers immediately after morning worship. Brothers, please stay behind and meet with Brother Trevon Jackson. The trustees will be meeting this coming Tuesday after our evening service. Please stay behind, trustees, for your very important meeting. Sister Jack, Bishop Jackson and Sister Jackson wants to thank all the married couples. Married couples who attended the event yesterday, please stand. All the married couples who was out yesterday for the fellowship, please stand. We had a wonderful time. We, we literally closed the place down. We were there until closing. We had a wonderful fellowship on yesterday, and they want to thank everyone who came out to fellowship with them. Thank you so much. On this coming Tuesday at 7 p.m., the Pastor's Aid is sponsoring uh, uh, Pastor's Anniversary Musical. Our very own will be performing their talents, and gifts on this coming Tuesday. Please come on out and support this very wonderful event. This is in um, for our fourth pastoral anniversary services, but in lieu of a service, we're having a musical. So come on out and show your support for the talent that will be performing on Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. On February the 11th, which is next Saturday, the sisters are having a potluck sponsored by our very own First Lady. Please see Sister Isiana Daniels if you would like to attend or bring a dish for that event. Come on out so we can have a high time in the Lord and fellowship in the name of the Lord. On February the 25th, I'm sorry, 24th, 
Elder Jackson will be speaking at 7 p.m. for our full pastoral and virtue service. And the 25th at 3 p.m., Bishop Sawyer will be speaking. Please come on out and show your support. Dinners will be sold immediately after each service. On March the 4th, the church will be traveling to Mount Sinai, Solid Rock Church for Bishop Sawyer's anniversary service. Departure time will be announced later. However, the service will begin at 3 p.m. On March the 11th, our fourth pastoral anniversary banquet will be uh, at Fort Eustis Officers Club at 4 p.m. Tickets are on sale as of today. Please see Deacon Lane or Sister Essence Johnson for your tickets. Adults, 12 and up, $40. Children, I'm sorry, kids, 40, 11, $25. And kids, three and under, will be eating free. Please see Sister Essence Johnson or Deacon Lane for your tickets. Weekly service are as follows. Noon de prayer, Monday and Wednesday, 12 to 1 p.m. Uh, sisters will be rehearsing tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Wednesday will be our Bible study at 7 p.m. The church fast day, Wednesdays, 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Immediately after service today, the following groups will be taking pictures, missionaries and aides, the baptismal committee, <coughs> Mill chorus, and Mother Harris. These are the group that will be taking pictures on today. Govern yourself accordingly. Pray for each other. Pray for the bereaved family. The sick and the shut in pray for one another in Jesus' name. Amen. Sorry, pray my strength in the Lord. We praise God for the announcement. We thank God for it. We hope that all the visitors that are here, we hope you feel welcome today. Remember, this Tuesday, if you want to come out to the end of our services, uh, we welcome you to come out to our service. we got our upcoming our pastor anniversary. If you want to get the dates right and get the times right, we, we encourage you to come on out to uh, these services that we're having. Uh, we'd be more than happy to have you. Just come in Tuesday. It's a great service. And we praise God for our pastor. It's the fourth Amen. year, uh, the second year going, the second year we've been in this place. And the Lord has given us a great edifice, and we're glad to be in here. So yeah. somebody give God a hand clap in here today. We're glad to be here. Yeah. We're glad to be here for the second year. And Deacon Lane, I meant, I, wanted, meant, I meant to get with you, Deacon Lane. I had something on my mind. What I want to do, Deacon Lane, where you at, Deacon Lane? What I want to do, Deacon Lane, I'm, I said, uh, I'm going to do something for someone. Uh, those that are going to the banquet and those that really need some help, what I want to do, I'm going to give Deacon Lane $100. What you can do if you really want to go to the banquet and you need help because we have some people, a lot of kids here. I'm going to give Deacon Lane a hundred dollars. So the first ten people that really needs some help, you can take ten dollars off of each ticket. You got me? Ten people, ten dollars off of each ticket. That's a hundred dollars. Is that all right? Nothing planned. We just, no, I just. It's for our pastor and his, his companion. That's right. As well as the church, but we don't want nobody sitting at home. Uh, amen. Amen. We don't want nobody sitting at home. Amen. Praise God, somebody. Give God a praise in here, somebody. <laughs> Have another song by the male chorus. Have another song by the male chorus. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all better sing this morning. <laughs> Yeah, James. Come on now, you know you gotta sing. <laughs> you know you gotta sing. Well.
I run for my life, running cause I want to see Christ. I made up in my mind, I'm going to run while I still have time, I'm going to When I hear the church bells toll, I stop and I wonder, Lord, how long? I see the hearse wheel, they're rolling too, and I tell myself, that could have been you, I'm going to run. I've got to run, I've got to run, while the blood keep running warm in my when his eyes of mine is closed. And the blood in my vein is cold When I stepped out of life back door I won't be able, y'all Then I can't run no more I'm gonna run Gotta run Every day I've gotta run Blood, keep running off. When I hear the church bells toll, I stop and I wonder, Lord, how long I see the hearse wheel. They're rolling too, and I tell myself. That could have been you, I'm gonna run. Gotta run. Every day I've gotta run. I've gotta run. While the blood. I've got to, I've got to feel, get high, well, I've got to, my lead, get low, but I've got to, steps get real slow, got to, friends are gone, got to, Sometimes it looks like I just can't make it Heal all around But I gotta Friends are gone Gotta Sometimes It looks like I just can't make it Heels All around It'll be 
coming behind. I ain't got nowhere else to go, but I still wait. Look up, and I tell him I gotta run, 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 run. Gotta run. In the midnight, I'ma run, 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 gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, I'ma 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 run, gotta run, gotta In the morning, I'm a run. In the evening, I'm a run. Late at night, I'm a run. I'm a run. I'm a run. Can't see my way. I'm a run. I'm a run. I'm a run. I'm a run. I'm a run.
Standing where Deacon Tinsley is standing on my far right is for your tithes and your general offering. Your tithes and your general offering. Deacon Love is standing in the middle. It's a love offering for the speaker of the hour. Truly, indeed, we know we can't pay him, but we can bless him. Amen. Amen. Be a blessing. Be a blessing. Let us stand at this time. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come at this time to lift an offering before you say, more blessed to give than to receive. Father God, we pray in us right now, Lord God, bless all those who have an offering to give, bless those who have not an offering to give, and shall be able to give at the next appointed time. We pray in us, we return back into the people some 100 fold. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, that's the smile from the rear and follow the directions of the usher at this time. <laughs>
from the crowd. Turn your hands out, Pastor Bishop Terry Jackson. Yeah. When the storm of life is raging, oh Lord, won't you stand by me? When the storm of life is raging, yeah, oh Lord, won't you stand by me? Why don't you just stand by me, Jesus? Oh
need the Lord. You need the Lord. Yeah. You need the Lord. You need the Lord. Help me say, you need the Lord. You need the Lord. Say, you need the Lord. You need the Lord. You need the Lord. Help me say, you need the Lord. All right. Break that thing down. gonna come a time that you won't be able to clap your hands. It's gonna be a time that you won't be able to stand up. Why? You got your health and strength. You need to praise God now. Somebody say thank you. You know that you want to need the Lord. You're gonna need him one day. You're going to need him right now. You need the Lord. You need the Lord. You need the Lord. Oh, you need the Lord. Help me say, you need the Lord. Make the devil mad. Here. I don't care. Bring it back down. I'm going to preach. I don't care what the devil say. The devil had me out there. Drinking, lying, smoking, stealing. But now God has set me free. He picked me up. Then he turned somebody around. Things I used to do, I don't do no more. Hey. 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 You need the love. Everything that has felt. 
all the drunk. Praise them all the good time. Praise them all the keyboard. Praise them with the instrument. The high sound is symbol. Let everything, let everything, let everything to have breath. A little bit more. I'm a preach. I'm a preach. See, the battle is in that choice. The battle belongs to the Lord. He said, Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Put up your sword. The only way you can defeat the devil is to praise God. Through your trial, praise Him. Through your sickness, praise Him. Whatever you're going through, praise him. See, the devil trying to loose. When you ain't got no joy, you'll have no peace. And the devil wants you to come in here and don't praise him. But the Holy Ghost is like fire. Shut up in my bones. It make me holler. It make me move. It make me say, thank you. Give us a hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. That's the God that I serve. You say he love him, it's an action word. All right. We're going to play one more minute. Then we go on to the word of God. Can we, can we dance for a minute? Hey, hey, hey! Woo! What a 
Calvary. Lord of Calvary. Lord Jesus, we thank you right now for blessing us. Thank you for being so kind, so merciful to us right now. We're left without you. We cannot do nothing. It was you that woke us up this morning, closing our right mind, giving the activities of our limb. Blood, you bring a to our fame. You let us see another day that we won't see again. This is the day that you have made. And God, you told us to rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you right now for your goodness and your mercy. Food close and shut up. God, we are praying right now, God, that you forgive us of our sins. Inner sins, outer sins, secret sins, perception sins, all our transgressions. If we for you right now, we're praying for our families, our loved ones, our children, our daughters, our husbands, our spouses, everybody, our enemies. In Jesus' name, everybody give God another praise. afternoon I know time have expired and I know you're kind of tired and you're ready to go home and because you've been in church over a couple hours now you're ready to go home but you go to the after hour from 11 to 2 then you go to the after hour from 2 to 5 and from five, you ret we report to work. <laughs> Hallelujah. And when you get to the church, you was at the after hour before you got to an after hour. You went on latest night and you got yourself suited all up, smelling all good. See who you can catch well. with your drunk self. Oh, yes, sir. Go get your drink on and smoke a little bit of weed, get high. You know what I mean? So you think, think that you's a lover, which you ain't nothing because you're high under the influence. 
you're under the influence, but you step out in the way. Yes, Hallelujah to God. You ain't worry about no time or whatsoever. You know what I mean? You, you, you didn't go out until sometime 11 to 12 o'clock. Right. You want know, to make sure that everybody's there so you can pip in to see how you look. Right. So everybody see what you got on. And you, if you got a clean ride, you park it in the front of it and put the blinkers on. Got your lady with you, ask over the door like you never did that before. You don't do it, you just do it in front of people. To make you look good, then you let them out the door, then you go park the car, then you, you pimp in. Everybody's in there like sardine, pack up on the floor, up against the wall. You standing by the DJ. Waiting for your song to come on. Come on sir. And once your song come on, you jump up. Find your girl. <laughs> well, the day, the time that, we, uh, let, me ref, let me turn back now. That was back in the day, you find your girl, uh, then you, damn, but now, now you find a boy. You ain't got no girl no more. All these beautiful women around here, you don't want that. You want a rusty boy with a beard like you. <laughs> you earn a million, <laughs> you got a million gold on, they got a million silver on. <laughs> girls dancing with girls. Bagging it up. Y'all ain't gonna know this. Bagging it all up. Drop it all down. You can't, you can't cut nothing on TV now. Everybody drop it on down, bagging it up. Put your nasty self. Well, to each his own. I ain't getting my message, but you know, I'm just saying how you have all that energy when you see that. <laughs> we can't get you to praise God. <laughs> but you look at all that rump, you ready to shout. <laughs> and you looking at your boy, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> That's why married people can't hang with single people. If your husband married with somebody single, you better cut that mess out. Two mentality. They don't think alike. He thinking what he can get. You be thinking what you got. And hold to that. But they ain't my message. I had to throw that out there. I had to throw it out. I sometimes had to tell my preacher, I'm a pastor. Uh, sometimes I have to teach and throw things out there here and there. Because I ain't going to see y'all all the time. You know what I mean? I see you once in a blue moon. You know what I mean? But, but I would like for you to join True Vine Alpha Started Church. If um, you want to join Alpha Started Church, the doors of the church is open. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a, 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 a uh, they say I'm a crazy preacher. That I am. I'm crazy for the Lord. See, you don't know where I came from. You're looking at a man, but you're looking at also used to be a devil. I came from a long ways. If it weren't for the Lord, I wouldn't be here today. If the Lord didn't intervene, I've been in jail today. If I didn't intervene right now, I'd be on the corner. Because one thing about me, I didn't never half step. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? We're going to get high. Let's get high then. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Let's do it. I'm not 
because that's where I was. When I come across this street and come for Jesus, I don't have step. I do it all. I give God all the glory. Because I'm dealing with a jealous God. If I gave the devil that, he want more. First of all, let me get, get, I'm excited. You know I get excited. I'm a excited, man. Somebody called me Action Jackson. Bishop Action Jackson. That's the gospel truth. I am Bishop Action Jackson. I ain't no shame in my game. I'm not, this, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of real preacher. I'm not ashamed to be a saint. I'm not ashamed to be Holy Ghost filled. I'm not ashamed of none of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm a word this world proud. Don't yes, what people say. I didn't, say what they, I didn't care what they did when in the world. I sure don't care now. I don't care. I'm just telling you. Give on to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My bad. Give on to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who's the head of my life. Thank God that I'm being here. Thank God for my beloved wife. God bless you, baby. When I look at my wife, that gave me that gave me more motivation. Somebody that has stroke to the brain, never been in the hospital. And God deliver her. She still got some ways to go. But I prayed in the house. If God can't do that for her. You think I'm going to step back on him? Because of your opinion? When I closed that door Mother Harris. When she had a stroke. She couldn't talk. Couldn't walk. When I closed that door. I fell on my knees. Because the only one could hear was Jesus. Riverside told me to drop her off. I ain't dropping my wife off. She can't talk. What you gonna do then when you ain't got nobody? You depend on Jesus. And when Jesus answers your prayer, nobody can convince you no other way. I don't care what you say. And that's in the middle of the COVID. I won't worry about no COVID. When you sick, you ain't think about no COVID. You think about healing. Wave your hand, baby. God bless you. And you know that you couldn't even do that. All right. See, that's a motivation to me. See, that's a motivation to me. You know what I mean? I learned what to do and what not to do. In your life situation, learn what to do and learn what not to do. If a lot of y'all was in that situation, you would drop her off. Because you were scared that she might die. Yeah, that crossed my mind. She need help. Suppose she died. Terry, why you got in the house and don't take her to the hospital? That crossed my mind. And I said to myself, if God don't heal her, she's going to die anyway. During the middle of the COVID, what are they going to do? They put it in the room and close the door. And let her sit right there. Because they were scared. They might get sick. Don't worry about it. So you dealing with another preacher who ain't scared of the COVID. I ain't scared of no COVID. I go to work every day with y'all COVID people. Ship y'all full of COVID. All departments, it got the COVID. Central workers got to go to work. 
but they tell you to close the church. The devil is a lie. Six feet of fire. And one of the safety rules, you better not go in the in containment, not a containment, but you can't go in no, uh, uh, what you call it, um, uh, in a space, you call it. Uh, in, yeah, in a fire space by yourself, right? Right? You cannot go into a fire space by yourself. But you got to be six feet apart. Somebody can watch you while you go down in the hole. And suppose you holler for help. I'm going to holler back down there. COVID! <laughs> no, seriously. Seriously. Yeah? yeah you, you see, see? But the shipyard don't care about that. They care about getting the work done. But they, but they want to close the church down. But when you go down in the hole and somebody fall and hurt yourself, you have to be down there. You got to, imp, in, in, you got to inform somebody so you can help that individual. That's the whole purpose of it. Because you're going to a gas place. And you can't smell gas. I know what I'm going to do since y'all weren't like that. I see you down the land out in that tank. I'm going to say COVID. So I don't need nobody like that. I need somebody who will help me. Oh, no. I'm going to move on. I was in a tank. We were spraying out the Ford P. And we were spraying. And I was up all up forward, crawled down in a little space. You had to go in head first and get down on your belly and crawl up in there. You, you, you can't go, you put your arm in like this and go in and then your line pull it behind you because it's so small but I was small enough to fit up in there but you had to spray up in there. So I was in there, got myself in there. Once I got myself in there, I had to practice getting back out because you could panic. So I got in the hole, you know what I mean, and sprayed. But when I came back out, I got stuck. So I'm putting on my line want my line puller to help me because he would be right there. Amen. He won't even there. Wow. When I came out the hole, I had to call on the name of the Lord. I came out the hole. When I came out the hole, he was laying over there in the corner, out, with nothing on his face. You have to have a respirator and an air filter to spray that type of paint. Because you can't breathe. Once you take it off, it takes all your breath. He was laying there. And I said, oh, my God. Paint was everywhere. We was in the Ford Peak. If you go in the Ford Peak, you go up. But if you come down, it slopes. It slopes. So you, you, you lose your balance. You just slide. Everybody, you got six prayers in there. I come out the hole. He laying there like that. So I had to carry him through the tank. I thought he was dead, no. But I carried him. As I was carrying him, as I got closer, you know, you, you had to go. And this, this taught me a little bit. You had to go through the hole. So you take your leg, go down, bend down, you come through the hole. Go like that. Just like that. You can't even go higher than this. You had to go further. First you down like this. You work yourself back. You get your pound through the hole. You come down like that. You know what I So, Strongest pain you can think of. <laughs> Push him through the hole. Then I seen another sprayer on my right. His name was Eric. I said, Eric. I said, man. I said, Eric, come over here, help me. You know what I mean? Help me. This guy. He said, uh huh. All of them said, no, I'm not touching that because they knew he was dead. So they knew they ain't touching nothing dead. You the ship y'all, bro. They don't care nothing about you. 
I do. You know what I mean? But I had to take off my, we sure the Lord blessed me. I had to take off my hood and put on his hood, on his face. So I had to hold my breath to get him out the tank. God gave me the ability to get him out the tank. And when I got him out the tank, I kicked him out. <laughs> I not know it because he was heavy. I couldn't do no way. I couldn't, I, everything was gone out of me. So when I kicked him out, I was praying all the time in my mind. In my mind now, you'd be surprised what you're going to do. You'd be surprised what God, can, the ability you'll do when you get in a certain situation. I kicked him out. When I kicked him out, he hit the stages. He, did, he was a stage or something. In the dried up, he hit the stage, fell on the stage. He jumped up. <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> Lord kept him alive. But it had to take him under so he won't breathe no more. Because if he breathed, he would have died anyway. To this day, he said, Terry, I thank you for saving my life. His wife come. Say, thank you for saving my life. I say, it wasn't me, it was God. He just used me. It's time for you to live right. But that didn't happen. Yeah, he's still at the ship, y'all. He's still at the ship, y'all. He ain't changed. He ain't changed. God saved folks' life, they don't change. Book of Romans. The seventh chapter. Ain't got nothing. I'm just going to refresh your memories on something. Pray for me. Romans the seventh chapter. Uh, we're gonna start at the fourteenth verse. Read all the way down to the twenty-fifth verse. Then we're gonna go back because I want to read something starting at the seventh verse. But we're gonna start at the fourteenth verse so you can get an understanding of where I'm going at here. All right, Romans the seventh chapter, beginning at the fourteenth verse. Yeah, can y'all hear me? All right. I want everybody to get it in Jesus' name. Everybody got to say amen. amen. If you need more time, I'll get you a little more time. Okay, what does it say, D? For we know. For we know. That the law is spiritual. Uh-huh. But I am carnal. But I am carnal. Sold under sin. Sold under sin. For that which I do. That which I do. I allow not. I allow not. But what I would. But what I would. That do I not. I do it not. But what I hate, what I hate, that do I, that do I. If then I do that which I would not, mm -hmm. I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that I, that in me that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me. But how to perform that which is good, I find not. For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. May God have a blessing to you, reading of this word. I'd like to leave with you a little topic.
uh, tell your neighbor, say, I'm sorry. It was my fault. You didn't do it. I did it. Reason why you don't like me, because I don't like you. I'm sorry. It's not you. I'm the one. It's not doing right. You blame everything on everybody else. But it's not everybody. It's you. So you need to apologize to your neighbor. It won't you. It's me. I'm the one that's standing in the need of prayer. It's me. It's me. I got something going on that is hard for me to handle. Seven verse say, what shall I say then? What did it say? Seventh verse. Seven. What shall we say then? What shall we say then? Is the law sin? No. It's the, the, Paul said, what shall I say then? Is the law is sin? God forbid. No, it's not sin. Read on. Nay. Nay. I had not known sin. If I didn't know the law, I wouldn't know what sin is. The law revealed to me what sin is. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, come on now. Come on now. <laughs> uh, if I didn't hear no rules and regulations, then I don't know when I'm wrong or right. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's it. So when I hear the law, that's when I know what I'm saying. Sin. That's what Paul said. That's what he said. And we're not, we're not talking about no new convert, old convert. We're talking about some new people already generated. Regenerated. Paul here uh, was, was talking because he, in the, in the chapter before, uh, he was talking about how we did free from sin and transgression and all that. But did he come back and, and tell you what he battling with? That's right. That's right. That everybody is battling with. Amen. Everybody battling with this. For I have known what? But by the law. By the law. For I have not known lust. If I didn't know, for if I had not known lust. Except the law. Except the law. Had said. Had said. Thou shalt not covet. That's how I knew that was a lust. But sin. But sin. Taking occasion. Take an occasion of the commandment of the commandment wrote in me, walk in me, all manner, all manner of concupiscence, of concupiscence. For without the law, for with the law, sin was dead. Hallelujah. Without the law, sin was dead. Of the words, I did everything that I wanted to do because I didn't know it was sin. That's right. That's right. So the sin was dead in me because I didn't know the law. That's how folks do a whole lot of things and don't have no conscience because they don't know the law. Oh, I mean, I mean, it's dead. Sin is dead to them. You know, they think that what they're doing is right. Paul thought he was doing what's right until he read the law, thou shalt not covet. Then the sin came revealed in him that he's a sinner. Ah. Because he was covered. And you know the scripture said, see, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife. Oh, man. <laughs> Read on. For I was alive. For I was alive. Without the law once. <laughs> I was alive without the law once. Hallelujah. See, that's why I, I tell folks, they get, they get saved out of early age. They don't know the Holy Ghost don't kick in until they get up in age. Because they're not breaking no rules and regulations. They do a little amount of stuff. But when they sort of get up in the world, and then the law reveals to them what they really are. The law revealed to them what's in them. Talk to me somebody. I'm going to get to my point in a minute. I said, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it won't you. It's me. It's me. It's, it's, it's not you. It's me. I'm the one got the problem. Yes, yes, sir. And, and I blame it on everybody. It ain't my mother. It ain't my father, my sister, my brother. It's me, the old Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Now, I'm the one. I'm the one that needed to be delivered. Hallelujah. Not Paulette Jackson. Perry Jackson needed to be delivered. I'm the one that got the problem. I'm the one that she's dealing with, and I'm in a hard time because I can't control me. Everybody want to control somebody else. Control yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And your own self whether you're in the right good or will of the God. Yes, sir. Oh, I can't get no amen in here. Come on, come on. We got too many holier than thou people in this world. Hallelujah. Read on. But when the commandment came. But when the commandment came. Sin revived. Look at here. But when the commandment came, the sin that was in me puffed up. And I died. And I died. Hallelujah. It puffed up. You know what I mean? It said, Thou said I steal. And I was stealing all the time. And now I want to steal. <laughs> it don't revive itself. Hallelujah. Once I heard the commandment of the law, hallelujah, and the sin that was in me said, Thou said I steal. Now I am the consequence. Now I'm ready to steal. The sin in me stopped, got revived. Yeah, yeah. It, it go, the old man started coming. Because I heard the law. Talk to me somebody. That's why you can't never say what you will never do. Right, right. Right, right, right. See, because once you hear the law, hallelujah, thou shall this, that, do that. that once you hear that, that's all. Then the sin that is in you that was dead revived itself. Mm -hmm. I ain't never commit fornication. That's in the make Oh, yeah, come on, go do it, 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 do it. It revives. What's in me started coming up. Fighting. I'm fighting now. Now I got a battle going on. And I'm blaming the woman for coming to me. No, it's me. Because I want her to come. I'm sorry. It's me. And I'm blaming everything or everybody else. Hey, I'm the one that got the problem here. Wake up in here. Y'all hear me talking. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What does it say? Sin revived. Sin revived. And I died. And I died. And the commandment. And the commandment. Which was ordained to life. Which was, was ordained to life. I found. I found. To be unto death. To be unto death. For sin. <laughs> what I found to be alive, I found it to be death. Right, right. God want me to come alive. I want to die again. Because sin. Yes, sir. sin. The sin. That's right. That's right. What's in me urging me to sin? That's right. That's right. That's right. It's, it's pushing me. It's pushing. Not the devil. That's right. Not the this devil. is not the devil. Not this the ain't devil. the devil here. This is you. That's right. Amen. Amen. Make it plain, sir. This ain't the devil. This is you. That's What's right. in you pushing you to do wrong? Amen. 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 You're right. You're right about it. Because the law revealed what I was doing. Now it came alive. <laughs> because what I was doing it before, I ain't had no conscience of doing it. I love doing it. But once the law revealed itself, that's when the conscience kicked in. Now here come the power. Oh, Lord. Oh, Now, I done got revived. The old man done came alive. Again. See, it done came alive because it done heard the law. See, see, some people come to holiness and don't know all the law of holiness. And once you tell them, thou shalt not do that, then all of a sudden they got the urge to do what you just told them not to do. Y'all talking here. Come on, come on. Come on, sir. Don't eat none of them cookies. You tell your children, don't eat none of them cookies. If you never say don't eat none of them cookies, they will never think about the cookies. But you brought it to their attention of the cookies. Now you told them about the cookies that was up there. They ain't never thought about the cookies up there until you brought it to their attention. Don't mess with them cookies up there. Where? Up there. Right. Now all of a sudden, it done came alive in them. Cookies, 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 cookies. Mama said don't touch them, but cookies. 
cookies. Mama said, don't touch them cookies. Cookies. The law, the cookies override the law. I heard the law, but I got revived about them cookies. I'm looking at the law, but yet I'm looking at the cookies. If you never told me don't mess with the cookies, I would never thought about the cookies. Paul said, I would never know sin until sin was by the law. Told me thou should not covet. That's when he realized that he was in sin. Right. But he was frightened because he still wanted to cover. That's right. That's right. That's right. The sin got revived in them. Right. Right. For it came alive. Mm-hmm. Right. Read on. Come on in there. For sin. For sin. Taking occasion by the commandment. Taking occasion by the commandment. Deceived me. Deceived me. And by it slew me. It just took me back under. It conceived me. It brought me back under bondage. It brought me back. Now, I don't really got a fight going on. That's right. That's right. Amen. Now, I really got the fight. Yes, sir. I can't help myself. Yes, sir. Every time I go in that house and go in that kitchen, I keep looking up at the cookies. Right, right. And when I go in the bedroom, I go and sit down on the bed so I ain't got to look at the cookies. I smell the cookies. <laughs> now I lay down. Now I'm dreaming about the cookies. Then I said to myself, one won't hurt. Right. Right. If I take one out of there, it won't hurt. Because the Lord didn't say that she counted it. She said, thou shalt, but it didn't say she counted it. <laughs> now I'm being deceived. <laughs> if I take one, she won't know it. <laughs> oh, y'all talking to <laughs> Read on, coming on in. Wherefore, Wherefore, the law is holy. Now, the law is holy. Now, don't think that the law is not holy. The law is holy. Because why is the law is holy? Because God wrote the law. That's right. That's right. And God don't do nothing unholy. That's right. Amen. Everything that he do is holy because right. he's a holy God. Amen. Follow Amen. peace with all men. Holy without no man shall see the Lord. Oh, is there no doubt God is a holy God. Yes, Ain't no sin in God. No, sir. No. He don't write sin. No. He show you sin. Yes, sir. Right. Come on, sir. Read on. Wherefore the law is holy. Now the law is holy. And the commandment holy. And the commandments are holy. And just. And just. And good. See, when you say thou shall not, thou shall that. If a man, in a man live with another man like he do a woman, kill him. That's a commandment. No, but that urge come in. I want to be a faggot today. Go ahead, Bishop. I want to be a lesbian now because I can't touch no man. Yeah. They, told, they told me don't fornicate, but if I touch a woman, they ain't fornicating. Yeah. Being deceived. Right. Yeah, you got because it. because ain't no ain't no penetration going on. So you know, so I'm not I'm not really doing nothing. I'm still a virgin. Right. Being deceived. Go ahead, Bishop. Go ahead, sir. Come on. You broke it down. Oh no, yeah. See, y'all see. You oh, y'all thought the only thing we do is shout. We got to live holy after we shout. That's right. That's right. 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 Oh, I'm a shout, yes, but I'm gonna live holy while I'm shouting. Yes, sir. That's it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I know they're looking at the shouting and our praise. They need to look at the word of God that we teaching. Read on. I'm coming in. Was well, then that which is good. But then that which is good. Made death unto me. Made death unto me. God forbid. <laughs> you, mean, you, mean, you mean the law killing me? It's death unto me? No, it's not. 
It's life to you. Mm-hmm. You're killing yourself because the wages of sin mm-hmm. is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How did I dare for fear living there longer? Come on, y'all. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right, sir. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Read. God forbid. God forbid. But sin. But sin. That it might appear sin. Huh, say what? But sin. But sin. That it might appear sin. Appear sin. Working death in me. It's working death in me. By that which is good. It's working death in me. I mean, see, 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 it's working death in me. See, when Adam sinned, he died. Not physically, spiritually. See, it's working death in me. I'm dying spiritually. Yeah, Come yeah. On. Yes, sir. Because it's separating me from God. Right. My God. Don't worry about it. He keep on hollering. He's all right. He keep, he's, he's all right. The baby just crying. You know what I mean? Let me see, but it gonna be a, see what he's gonna do. Let him show, show his face to me. Show him, let me see, let him see, let me see his granddaddy. Let me see his granddaddy. Let me see his granddaddy. Now, you keep that up, then the belt gonna get closer to you. <laughs> That you might come alive. <laughs> come and revive you. <laughs> let, him, let, him, let him put his eyes on his granddaddy. That's all he need to do. Put his eyes on daddy here. That's all he do. Put his eyes on him. You see what a man can do? Keep on thinking that you woman's around here doing something. A man can shut some up. Yes, sir. She still there crying with the mama. Put the eye on the daddy. Now we ain't talking about no sissy neither. Right, right. Look it out. You got your eyes on me now, don't you? You want paying attention to the pastor. You paying attention now, ain't you? Look at all of them. Got their attention now. All my grandchildren. Look, that's look up. That's right. Look up. I got them now, right? I mean, I get them. Don't mean they are subject to get whooping too. They're not a zip for getting whoopings in the middle of a service. Don't get that zip. In the middle of a service, you get whooped naturally and spiritually. Learn what to do naturally and spiritually. Don't do it. Since it revived up in you. Read on, let's go. But sin. But sin. That it might appear sin. That, uh huh. Working death in me. Working death in me. By that which is good. That's which is good. That sin. That sin. By the commandment. By the commandment. Might become exceeding. Exceeding. Sinful. Sinful. We don't. For we know. Huh? For we know. For we know. That the law is spiritual. We know that the law is spiritual. But I am carnal. Don't worry about it. He's all right, young man. He's all right. He's all right. That the baby's hurt. They're children. They're children. Children going to be children. They're going to cry, act a fool. They do that. It's all right. We used to children. All the kids I got. Man, you got the wrong person. All these children I got around this tip. It's all right. It's all right. I can deal with that. I don't want you to stay here. I can deal with that. I know, I know, I know he's kind of distracted. Don't worry about that. I can deal with that. Hey, baby. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, don't ever come back over here and say hey again. <laughs> see, you got, see, now, uh, I'm a man like this. Now, people, you underestimate God. They're going to do what they want to do. But when the walls of Jericho came down, one of the commandments was everybody be silent. Right? And guess what? They had their children. They didn't take their children and put them somewhere else. They taught them how to be quiet in the sanctuary. That's all. It's a training process. Just, just like you learn how to wake up. Doing preaching. (laughs) 
and you grown. So the children are cry, and you, you just worship them. They don't hear me, and you don't. Boy, I know y'all ain't going to sleep today because I'm walking today. I'm looking at all of y'all. Every last one of you. Read on deep. For we know that the law is spiritual. We know the law is spiritual. But I am carnal. But look at here. He said, I know the law is spiritual. He said, but I am carnal. Soul under sin. Soul under sin. I'm but, carnal. It ain't the devil. That's right. I was born into sin. Sinked into a nicotine. Prone to do wrong. Able to do wrong. And will do wrong. Amen. If any man say, yeah, I'm not sin, he's a liar. Yes, sir. The truth ain't in them. That's the word of God. As yes, long as you got this flesh on, you got sin. Yes, sir. The Holy Ghost don't sin, flesh. Yes, sir. Pushing you because it heard the law. And you don't bore the lie. Thou shall not. What? Read on. For that which I do, that which I do, I allow not. See? Look at here. I want to do right. Not want to do right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, it's not that you don't want to do right. I want to do right, but I don't allow to do right because I've been revived. Mm -hmm. right, right. Mm -hmm. Something in me done woke up the dead because mm -hmm. I was dead to sin. Mm -hmm. But now I know the sin and it urging me to do it again. That's right. That's right. That's right. I want to do right. I say, Lord, I'm going to do right. Right, right, right. But one more time won't hurt. One more time won't hurt. I get one of them cookies. <laughs> ah, boy, this preacher here. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Boy, I'm preaching from the pulpit to the door. Now, to see, this word ain't for. That's why I say it ain't for you can't look and you can't look at your neighbor and say neighbor no. You say I'm sorry. It was me. I the one that sinned. I'm sorry. It was me. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. <laughs> if you didn't get no love from somebody, I'm sorry because I the one should have loved you. That's right. But when I heard thou shall love, uh, I've been revived with the hate that was in me. And I'm struggling to love you, but I really want to hate you. Uh, and I'm fighting. Because thou shall love thy neighbor as thyself. I done heard the law. Now the sin been revived in me because I was hating all the time. Read on. I'm coming on here. For that which I do. That which I do. I allow not. I allow not to do. For what I would. That what I would. That do I not. That I do not. But what I hate. I hate. That do I. I hate treating you wrong. I hate cheating. I hate lying. I hate commit fornication. I hate commit adultery. But I keep doing it. Yeah. It's not that I don't want to do right. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. Right. It's not that I don't want to do right. I want to do right. But the Lord that came alive in me and revived the sin that was in me. Right, right, right. Yes, sir. And I'm fighting now. Right. I'm fighting. We don't need to do right. But what I hate. But what I hate. That do I. That do I. If then I do that which I would not. When I do that I would not. I consent unto the law. I consent unto the law. That it is good. That it is good. Now <laughs> then it is no more I that do it. It's not me that's doing it anymore. But sin. It's the in me. That dwelleth in me. What I was born in. It's not me. It's this flesh. That I've been born with. It's not me. Because the spiritual man wants to live holy. But this thing here that I'm battling, this here that is in me, right. this flesh, right. Right. 
is no good thing in the flesh. The Bible said ain't nothing good about it. Nothing. Ain't nothing good about this flesh. It's contrary to the word of God. Yes, sir. Come on, son. It's an impotent. Mm -hmm. Read on. For I know. For I know. That in me. In me. That is in my flesh. That is in. No, that is in my flesh. Dwelleth no good thing. Nothing good in my flesh. For to will. The will. Is present with me. Uh-huh. But how to perform that which is good, I find not. Can you just pray for me with me just an hour? Just an hour. Jesus said, can you just pray with me just an hour? Lord, I will pray for you with you for an hour. Then why you sleep? I got the will to do right, but how can I perform it? That's the problem. I got the will. I got the will to do it. But to perform it, I don't know how to do it. All right, now. You're in the scripture now. You're in the word of God. I got the will to do right, but how to perform it? That's the problem I have. Read on. For the good that I would. The good that I would. I do not. I do not. But the evil. That the evil. Which I would not. That I would not. That I do. That I do. That flesh. That's right. It's the flesh. I'm talking, I'm talking about the flesh. Not Satan. Right, that that amen. flesh. Amen. Amen. That flesh always make me do something. Right, right. Right. That's right. It makes it so bad, it feels good. That's what it's doing. It's, 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 it feels good doing that. It's not like it don't feel good. It feels good. Y'all used to blow. Used to, we got any blunt smokers in here? Don't raise your hand because I can tell by your lips. I want to throw you on the bus. You can't stop smoking blunt because it feel good. You like that nicotine taste. Go ahead, Bishop. Mm. You like where it feel when you high. A little wine for the stomach's sake with your drunk self. Mm. When you do wrong, it feels good. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Stop that. This yeah, yeah. flesh feel good when you're doing something good. It's because everything in it is wrong, but it feel good. Because you, you, because you, 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 you feel the flesh. When you feel the flesh, it's good. Right, right, Come right, on, right, man. Right, right, right. Come on. You satisfy the flesh, so it feels good. You commit fornication, and you say it won't no good. Ha. Yeah, stay, stay, stay right there. Yeah, stay, stay right, stay right where you're at. I got a quiet listen. Let look here now. Now you talk to me. No, no, no. With your energy, with you, with your, with your spiritual self, you commit fornication and tell me it don't feel good. I can't get an amen no with him found here. No, no, no. I can't, I can't, I can't get over here, man, because y'all scared. It might be you committing fornication. I know you don't, I know you're scared to say it. <laughs> like, like, okay, wow, I commit fornication. Oh, that was the worst thing I ever did. God is stupid. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, man. He know your flesh. He know the flesh. He know the flesh. Mother, everything you do in the flesh is good. <laughs> All sin is good to the flesh. Yeah. Do you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. All sin is good to the flesh. I hated what I've done. You love what you've done. 
That felt, I felt so good. Say, you know you said it. I felt so good. That was the best moment in my life. I wish I could do that again. But I keep hearing the law. But if I didn't hear the law, I'd do it again and again. Oh, no, I know y'all. Amen. 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 I'm Amen. preaching. I, I'm, I'll, I'll tell you. I, I'm sorry. It's not you. It's me. I know Terry. I know Terry. I can't blame you for my fault. I'm doing something that I desire I want to do. I can't get over here. Y'all quiet here. Come on, come on. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. We got a sinless church. We got sinless people in here. We got sinless people in here. You cannot take that to earth, to heaven. That's not going to make it to heaven. That's right. It's contaminated. That's, right. That's why Satan got kicked out of heaven. That's why it's going to be a new heaven and a new earth, because Satan was there. God don't deal with nothing contaminated. That's right. That's why he got to build you over and over again. Paul said, I haven't apprehended yet. Mm -hmm. But I'm striving. Mm -hmm. He said, forgetting them things were behind. Why he forgetting them things? Because he made mistakes. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't worry about what I did yesterday. Right, right. I got to keep on moving. Yes, sir. But if I keep thinking about yesterday, it'll hold me back for today. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Read on. Now, if I do that I would not. Uh huh. It is no more I that do it. Not that do it. But sin. That the sin. That dwelleth in me. My flesh. I find them a law. I find them a law. That when I would do good. When I would do good. Evil is present with me. Every time I try to do good, the Bible said, even the imagination was evil constantly. Yes, it was. Yes, sir. See, see. When I, when, I, when I got myself good, here come the evil part. Hallelujah. My mind. Right. Start, the imagination started coming. Right. I ain't got to do the act, but the imagination started coming. The evil imagination started coming, which continuously. Right. <laughs> so I'm fighting all the time in my mind. Yes, sir. I love looking at you in my mind. And I can imagine what I can do to you in my mind because it's constantly evil. Right, 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 right. Hallelujah. That's why, you know what I mean? I don't really have to touch you. I can touch you in my mind and get the feeling. Come on, come on. Because I can meditate on you because it feels good mm -hmm. in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all talking to me. Yeah. I'm, uh, as I'm too deep for y'all. Come on, come on. I'm too deep for y'all. No, you know what I mean? We ain't in the first grade. No, sir. You carrying guns when the kindergarten. Come on now. No, come on, come on. Children are sexual actor at eight and nine years old. Yes, sir. You gotta get this thing in order now. Yes, sir. Parents gotta tighten up the load. You can't talk. You got to live in front of your children now. Yes, sir. Talk is cheap. Amen. Amen. Don't tell me not to drink. Every time I go in the refrigerator, you got a fifth. What you doing for ashtray in your house? What, what you doing? Lighting candles? Candles don't need no ashtray. Got a glass. It goes out by itself. Put the top on. Why you got an ashtray? What you doing? Huh? Mm -hmm. Why all them incense burning up in there? What you got going on, bro? What incense for? To get rid of the reaper smell? Right, right, right. Right. Yes, sir. All the incense going on. Mm -hmm. The different kind of incense. Right. You know what I mean? Because you use a bachelor. You know what I mean? You use a bachelor. Got the incense smell all up in here. You know what I mean? Smell like you like you on a corner stove. Right, right. But that would have smelled like a smoky dawn. A lot of, lot of candles on you got them incense ashes just falling everywhere. 
What's up with the ashes? You love ashes? I guess you smoke so much brown reef, you love the ashes. So you got an ashes. Now with your slick self, you put it inside of the plant to catch the ashes. The plants is there to catch the carbon in that side, not ashes. Plants breathe in carbon dioxide. That's why plants have in the house breathe in carbon dioxide. That's where they take in. That's what keeps sickness in your house down. That's why you see a lot of people got plants in the house to keep the sickness down. Plants breathe in carbon dioxide. That kills you. All right, that's enough history. You know what I mean? But, you know, but they ain't know nothing about that. They just got them ashes. Go smoke, go smoke and burn the ashes. Got, got the nerve to have the incident at the front door. Don't that for me, cork? <laughs> you don't took the corking out and put an incense in there. So when people walk in your house, they see the ashes falling down. So you can smell good with your slick self. You smoking in the back. <laughs> Saints. I ain't talking about the world. Saints. You smell like you smell like a reefer itself, like you from the Bahamas. <laughs> I know it's I I know I know it's legal now. But please, bro. Now you're gonna get a, a, a prescription so you can smoke. I'm under the doctor care. <laughs> So I got permission. Look what the doctor say, Bishop. <laughs> That's right. This prescription, just like the rest of the prescription. That's right. It's legal. It's legal. It's legal <laughs> and now what I'm going to do, Bishop, I'm going to get these and I'm going to grow some more. That's in case I run out. Now you got this preacher. Y'all know who he is. You got this preacher selling weed now in the church. And he said he want his deacons to get on board. <laughs> see where we going? Yes, sir. You see where we going? You see where we going? He said the, the devil is something else, ain't he? The weak pastors. Mm -hmm. can, I get, can, I, can I talk about the pastors for a minute? I'm a pastor. The weak, no good pastors. They sorry. You got some sorry pastors. Got three, four wives mm -hmm. preaching to you. No, I want to say it so bad. Every time I get to this part, I want to say it so bad. You know what I mean? You all up there, you up there with the things all in your butt, preaching. You sit down, you don't bust everything open. Because you're so tight. Back of your butt as big as a mite. Preaching. Preachers. Ain't Holy Ghost feel at all. No, sir. God ain't running no church. No. They want your money. That's right. Bring, Bring your tithes and offerings. Yes, 
They want your money. Don't care nothing about your soul. No, sir. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not make come fornication, adultery, lying, stealing, homemongers, faggots, lesbians. Cannot make it to heaven. No, sir. Take off the man's garment. Preach here, Bishop. Anything what? You cannot wear nothing potato to a man. A man cannot wear that potato to a woman. Take it off. Get who you are. I'm driving now, ain't I? This kind of church I deal with, this church you're dealing with here. Holy Ghost Church. Yes, sir. God is holy. He is holy. You got to take off that filthy garment when you come to God. Yes, sir. I'm going to take off that garment, though. I better leave that alone. Because if I mess with that, I won't have no church folks. I ain't had them anyway. You think I'm worried about you? Worrying about how your feelings? If God tell me to tell you to take them things off, take them off. They're hanging down here we're on your rump. All these women got their pants hanging down here, mm -hmm. pimping. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Somebody need a lot. See, see, back in the days, see, thank God we saved now. Because back in the day, we've been not the taste out of them. Mm -hmm. You're going to run up on me because I'm talking to a woman. Who is you? You got to get on out of my face. I hate that. I always go, don't, it's, it's always going left field, don't it? It need to be done. That's no, right. it's, it's bad. Yes, it is. It's bad. This is a society, and you preachers around here condoning it. That's yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. Care about your money? God going to take care of the church without you. That's right. You think you got this because of you? God did this. Right. Right. Your money, you'll perish with your own money. Yes, sir. I'm going to be blessed. God always got somebody to live holy. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll leave that alone. I'm going to leave these preachers alone. Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> no, no, just no. You got these chicken preachers. You know I'm going there, right? But you know I'm going there. These chicken. These preachers are chickens. You have to turn it off. Turn it off. Preachers. Supposed to have faith. Strong in the Lord. To show the congregation God is able. No, they're chickens. Go and pray for the people. And the sick among you, he said what? In the sick among you, call on the elders of the church. They will anoint you with oil and pray for you. If you have sinned, he will forgive you and you'll be healed. No, these chickens were about COVID. You catch the COVID, mm -hmm. and you want to be delivered from COVID. Mm -hmm. And I'm scared because I might get it from you. Preachers don't have no faith. No. No. None. They don't like me, and I don't even care. As long as you've been knowing me, you never see a mask on my face in this church. I, do what you want to do. I'm talking about preachers. Yes, I'm talking about preachers now. Preachers, we ain't talking about congregation because you can't be no stronger than your leader. If your leader is weak, the congregation is weak. If the preacher don't believe, the congregation ain't going to believe. That's why all the preachers catch COVID. I haven't caught it. 
And I'd be around COVID every day. Why I haven't caught it? You know why I haven't caught it? I'm going to tell you why I haven't caught it. Because God know I got to preach every Sunday. Right? Amen. Tell the truth right here. Amen. Let's get real with this. Real preacher. God know I got to preach every Sunday here. Amen. I don't have no replacement. No, sir. No, so I got to be on this wall sick or whatever and preach the word of God. Yes, sir. So I can't catch the COVID because if I catch the COVID, I have to notify the people. Then safety part may kick in. Then they send you a letter. Then they say, do the congregation know you got the COVID? Then they'll close the church down. Now these chicken wickies don't believe God. If God can heal a stroke victim from the brain. What's the COVID? You see what I'm saying? He that dwells in the secret place shall abide. Do I need to read that? Do I need to read that so get some confidence? Huh? Read that 901. Get, get that. that one. Bring you some confidence. This is what God said to the church. I'm coming back. I done messed up now. Y'all excuse me. Come next Sunday, I'll hoof and puff. Do like them other preachers, blow your house down. Psalms 91 says what? What say, D? He that dwelleth. He that dwelleth. In the secret place. In the secret place. Of the most high. Of the most high. Shall abide. Shall abide. Under the shadow. Under the shadow. Of the almighty. Of the almighty. We don't. I will say. I will say. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. He is my refuge. He's my refuge. And my fortress. He's my fortress. My God. He's my God. In him. In him. Will I trust. I trust the Lord of all my heart, soul, and mind. Lean not to my understanding. In all my ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Read. Surely, surely, he shall deliver thee. He shall deliver thee from the snare of the. He fire. shall deliver thee from the snare. Of the he fire. shall deliver thee. Amen. From what? The snare of the fowler. Fowls of the fowl. And from the noisome pestilence. From the noisome COVID. Yes, sir. Amen. That's Amen. the word of God. That is the word of God. Amen. Amen. Preachers. Amen. And told the congregation. That's what God said. He that dwelleth in the secret place, he that dwelleth. Mm -hmm. See, the point is, the preachers don't dwell in the secret place. They're around the secret place, but they're in the secret place. Right. That's why they care. That's why they're chicken. I ain't scared. I know my life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I told God, I ain't going to shut the church down. No, sir. That could be six feet apart, but I'm still going to preach. That's right. That's right. Do you hear me now? Yes, sir. One gets sick, all get sick. Yes, Do you hear me now? That's where it goes. One suffer, all suffer. That's the Lord got us unified together. When one gets sick, all get sick. Mm -hmm. One get delivered, all get delivered. Everybody get the bug. Then all of a sudden they come to church. This is happy. So I got to the witnesses. <laughs> yes, sir. From for he'll say he from what? What kind of pestilence? From the noisome pestilence. The noisome pestilence. He shall deliver thee. Okay, I'm done. I ain't gonna preach no more because my time has expired. Last time y'all said that I kept you here late. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I kept you late. So I get a road going, I get to talking, you know what I mean? I get excited when I see people, you know what I mean? Right. I'm like my daddy. I get excited when I see people, and then I don't want to let you go because I ain't going to see you no more till next Sunday. <laughs> I ain't going to preach no more. I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, wretched man that I am. Who, who shall deliver me? Who shall deliver me? From the body of this death. From the body of this death. It's me, oh Lord. I'm sorry. It's me. It's me. I need to be delivered. From this body of death Amen. by Jesus Christ. Come on, get down to pray.
before we go any further. I'm sorrowful. We don't really get out of here this late, but we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna cut down the time in Jesus' name. You know what I mean? Anybody want prayer for I, for I, before we close? Anybody want prayer? Please come on, give me a song here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, give me some soft music here. Give me something.
Hallelujah. We know that he's not no deacon, and we know that she ain't no missionary right now. But I'm gonna pray for them because they've been working in that capacity since my dad and mother. Keep on working in capacity while I'm living. So I'm gonna pray. You might well pack on your shoulder. She ain't, but she is. You ain't, but you is. Amen. She told my mother. My daddy, long they live, she gonna work for him. And she told me the same thing. So I'm gonna pray and pray and you that you be semi in your position in the name of Jesus Christ. So won't be no he say or no she say. They would know. And they can never say that you ain't. They can't never say that you ain't. care what they say. Ain't nobody a title anybody. You're doing the work of a mission. You're doing the work of it. That's all required to me. And I'm going to pray right now for you in that position. She worked with my mother and father. She stayed by my mama's side till she died. That woman right there. She honored my mother and father. She gonna do the same work for my mother and father. She doing the same work for Terry and Paulette. Gird up your lawns. Got to work. Break that down just a little bit. Yeah, I'm telling you, God is good. Use a hard worker, sis, right? Deep, brother, right? You stepped in right on time. You doing something 
that nobody else is doing. Hear my hand. I need you. I ain't going to act like I don't need you. You might don't do everything, but I need you. I don't do everything, but we need each other. I need you. I need you and Sister Wright on this journey that we are taking. All right? That's a touchy thing there because it's a loving thing. Nobody should be envied. They should be happy. Because I need you to help that one. You know what I'm doing? I need to help my wife. And she's doing a good job. Just like you with my mother, be with my wife. Okay? The doors of the church is open. <laughs> Anybody want to be a member of the True Vine Apostolic Church of Christ, the door of the church is still open. I give you the right hand fellowship. We're, this is a Holy Ghost church. We believe in a death, burial, and resurrection. Repent and be baptized for every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the mission of seeing you share. We see the gift of the Holy Ghost. We don't believe in no trinity. It's one God, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. If you haven't been baptized in Jesus' name, you better come on and get it. Because Father is not a name. Son is not a name. Holy Ghost is not a name. Them titles. You got to go down in the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. And his name is what? Marriage is going to bring forth a son, and the son shall be called. Philip, have been so long with you, you haven't seen the father. When you see me, you have seen the father. The father I as one. It's a speed that I leave here, but I'm going to send back a comforter that we're coming in my name, which is Jesus. Don't give me no preach another sermon. Just in case you've been baptized in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, that's not it. That's not it. You won't hear it from me. You won't hear it no more. If you don't, you're not going to make it to heaven unless you get the three elements to make one solution. You got to have H2O to have water. You have to have H2O to have water. You got to repent, baptize in Jesus' name, to have the Holy Ghost to make it to heaven. Just that simple. All right? Maybe next week, Bible study, I teach that in Jesus' name. Nothing else to be said? No, no, no right hand fellowship? No, I want to join the church? God of mine. I need to get all y'all right hand fellowship. Rejoin. <laughs> Everybody rejoin so I can shake somebody's hand. I want to shake somebody's hand. <laughs> all right, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Power, God bless you, young man, for being with us in Jesus' name. <laughs> Marcus, keep on holding on. Keep on holding on, man. Keep on holding on. Young man, God bless you. I don't know your name, but God bless you and your daughter. God bless you for coming and being with us today in Jesus' name. God bless you. What's your name? John. God bless you. John the Baptist. <laughs> you got a name there. God bless you. Baby, what's your name, baby? Yeah, you. Julie, God bless you, Julie, my co-worker. God bless you for being with me in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. It won't of course this that you're here. You know what I mean? All the time you've been seeing me, you all the time you've been seeing me, you never know who I was until the pop up on that phone of you. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, he, yeah, you 
tell she went downtown. <laughs> they get that straight right now, let that long hair fool you. That's see, what I tell you? Downtown, bro. <laughs> Cause you know I'm from downtown. Used to park straightly. <laughs> Ain't no shame in my game where I come from. You know what I mean? Jesus came out the stable, I came out the hood. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's right. You know what I mean? No. You know what I mean? I'm not, hey, I'm not high on the horses. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. No. I, I, I mean, I go downtown, bro. I go downtown. You know what I mean? Somebody who appreciate love. You know what I mean? Okay, we thank you in Jesus' name. Come on, give God one more hand, please. One more hand, please. Give yeah, God one more hand, please. Somebody say hallelujah in here. Hallelujah! Somebody scream in here. Whoa! Glory to God. Shabbat praise. Thank you. All minds clear. Next week, you come here, we're going we to do some, we need to do some Shabbat praise. We need to turn the roof off this place. Hallelujah. Oh my, let the words of my mouth, meditation of my heart, be accepted in that sight. Oh Lord, my strength, my redeemer, in Jesus' name, amen. Peace be unto you.